Moscow says at least three of its personnel have been killed in a Ukrainian drone attack on a Russian air force base. A Russian air base hundreds of kilometers from Ukraine has come under attack for the second time in less than a month. The Russian Defense Ministry says the Engels base in the southern Saratov region was targeted by Ukrainian drones during the night. Russia says it shot down the drones, but three of its servicemen were killed by falling debris. The base is host to long-range Russian strategic bombers, the type of which have launched numerous missile strikes on Ukraine. From Moscow, our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg reports. Caught on CCTV. An explosion at a Russian airbase. Russia says it shot down a Ukrainian drone, but that three Russian soldiers were killed. Engels airbase is deep inside Russian territory, hundreds of miles from the Ukrainian border. The base hosts long-range bombers, which are believed to have launched missile attacks against Ukraine. State TV reacted to the news with a familiar warning to Kiev. Russia, she says, would exact revenge by carrying out more strikes on Ukrainian infrastructure. Russia can rattle those sabers and flex its muscles, but it doesn't change the fact that what happened at Engels Air Base is embarrassing for the Kremlin. For the second time in less than a month, what is an important military installation has come under attack. Quite a contrast to the image of military might that President Putin's been portraying in recent days. The Kremlin leader has promised his generals all the resources they need for the war in Ukraine. He's determined to secure something he could present as a Russian victory. Putin is not going to back off and nobody else is going to give him a reason to back off. And therefore, he's going to take steps necessary for him to win, whatever that victory may mean for him. But 10 months after Russia invaded Ukraine, there is no sign of that victory. Instead, the war the Kremlin started is moving closer to home. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.